Imagine a tank so powerful, so advanced, that it could change the course of history. Now, picture this tank being developed in the heart of a small country fighting for its future. This isn't a fantasy, it's the story of the M95 Degman, a battle tank designed to be a game changer. But what if I told you that despite its potential, this tank is almost forgotten today? In this video, we'll take you deep into the world of the M95 Degman, Croatia's modernized marvel born from the ashes of the Yugoslavian wars. Stick around, because what you'll discover about this tank's incredible development and tragic fate will truly surprise you. You won't want to miss how a machine built for greatness became a shadow of what it could have been. The roots of the M95 Degman go back to the early 1980s when Yugoslavia, still a united nation, was seeking to develop a tank that could rival the best in the world. They had a strong starting point, the Soviet Union's T-72 main battle tank, one of the most feared tanks on the battlefield at the time. The Yugoslavian military took this design and began working on an indigenous version, which would become the M84. It wasn't just a clone of the T-72, but a significant improvement in many ways. By 1985, production of the M84 had begun in earnest. The tank was reliable, powerful, and gave Yugoslavia a sense of pride. The country built over 600 units before the collapse of the nation brought production to a sudden halt. But in the process, Yugoslavian engineers and industries gained invaluable experience in building and modifying main battle tanks. This experience would later become crucial for Croatia in developing the M95 Degman. With the breakup of Yugoslavia in the 1990s, the former Yugoslav republics were left in chaos. Croatia, one of the newly independent nations, inherited the Duro Dakovic production facility, which had played a key role in the M84's development. Croatian engineers knew that if their nation was to protect itself in the turbulent Balkans, they needed a modern tank that could hold its own against any threat. This need led to the birth of the M95 Degman. The idea was to take the M84's proven platform and modernize it with the latest in tank technology. It was an ambitious project, and the result was a tank that was lighter, faster, and more deadly than its predecessor. The M95 was fitted with composite and laminate armor, providing much better protection against modern anti-tank weapons. The tank also featured explosive reactive armor, ERA blocks, which exploded outward to neutralize incoming missiles or shells, protecting the crew inside. One of the most significant improvements made to the Degman was the separation of ammunition stores from the crew. This may sound like a minor change, but in the heat of battle, it can be the difference between life and death. If a tank is hit in a vulnerable spot, the stored ammunition could explode, taking the entire crew with it. By moving the ammo farther away from the crew, the M95 gave its operators a much better chance of survival in combat. In terms of firepower, the Degman was equipped with a 125mm 2A46M5 smoothbore gun, the same powerful cannon found on Russian tanks. But the Degman wasn't just a blunt instrument. It had an advanced fire control system, FCS, that allowed it to track and engage targets with pinpoint accuracy, even while moving. The thermal imaging system gave the tank exceptional night fighting capability, making it a formidable weapon in any scenario. The M95 Degman also benefited from a more powerful 12-cylinder diesel engine, producing 1,200 horsepower. This gave it a significant boost in mobility, allowing it to reach speeds of up to 45 miles per hour on roads. The tank could travel an operational range of 430 miles before needing to refuel, making it one of the more mobile tanks of its time. For a country like Croatia, with rough and varied terrain, this mobility was crucial. Another standout feature was the addition of a remote weapon station, RWS, mounted on top of the turret. This allowed the tank to engage infantry and other lightly armored targets without risking exposure to the crew. The RWS could be operated from inside the tank, providing added safety for the crew during intense firefights. Despite its impressive capabilities, the M95 Degman never saw large-scale production. Two prototypes were built one for the Croatian army and another for potential export. There was serious interest from Kuwait, which already operated a fleet of M84 tanks and wanted to modernize them to the new M84D Degman standard. Unfortunately, just as the tank was beginning to gain traction, a combination of financial difficulties and the aftermath of the Yugoslav wars led to the program being shelved. As of 2014, only four M95 Degman tanks are believed to be in service with the Croatian army. The long-term future of the tank remains uncertain, and it is unlikely that it will be produced in significant numbers. In a world where defense budgets are shrinking, 
and nations are increasingly relying on high-tech solutions like drones and missile systems, traditional battle tanks are becoming less relevant. However, Croatia still plans to upgrade its existing M84A4 fleet to the M84D Degman standard. The M95 Degman stands as a symbol of Croatia's ambition to develop a modern, capable military force. Despite the setbacks, the tank represents the culmination of years of experience and innovation. For a small nation emerging from the ruins of a civil war, building a tank as advanced as the Degman was no small feat. The M95 may not have reached its full potential, but its legacy lives on in the hearts of Croatian engineers and soldiers. The Croatian army's plans to modernize its fleet of M84 tanks to the M84D Degman standard are a testament to the tank's enduring value. The upgraded M84D features many of the same advancements found in the M95, including the ERA armor, improved FCS, and thermal imaging systems. In many ways, the M84D is a continuation of the M95 project, adapted to the realities of today's battlefield. In the end, the story of the M95 Degman is a story of unrealized potential. It's the tale of a tank that could have been a game-changer for Croatia, but circumstances beyond its control kept it from achieving greatness. Still, the lessons learned during its development have not been wasted. The M95 stands as a testament to the ingenuity and determination of Croatian engineers, who took a Soviet design and transformed it into something uniquely their own. The M95 Degman may not have become the tank that changed the face of modern warfare, but its story is a fascinating one, a blend of history, innovation, and ambition. Croatia's engineers didn't just build a tank, they built a symbol of resilience and progress. And even though the M95 never reached its full production potential, its legacy lives on through the ongoing upgrades to Croatia's fleet of tanks. If you found this story of military innovation intriguing, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We dive deep into topics like this, bringing you fascinating stories of forgotten tanks, modern warfare, and military advancements from around the world. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, and if you have thoughts or questions, feel free to drop a comment below. We'd love to hear what you think.